Hi guys, and we are back with our tip of the day and we are talking puberty and that conversation of puberty talks with our children and where we should start. And this one is, is personal for me because this is something that we have just navigated as parents with our oldest child before the start of her transitioning into middle school. And it was something that I think for me, I probably over-prepared for. I had PowerPoints and, you know, Zoom videos and all of that. Um, we do not want to overwhelm our children, right? We want to meet them where we are or where they are, actually. And it was really my husband who was like, look, we need to scale this back and meet her where she is. You don't want to overwhelm her or confuse her. Um, and in my mind, I was thinking, I don't want nobody to take advantage of her. I don't want anybody to, you know, do A, B, and C. I need to prepare, prepare, prepare for all these changes that are going to occur. But what we had to do was chunk it, break it down for her, and talk about these different puberty aspects in a way she could digest it. So we did have um, YouTube videos that we utilized, and then we had the discussion afterwards. But, you know, there are so many things that we have to cover when it comes to puberty. Puberty, the changing of their body, right? The changing of them actually being interested in other people. Sex talks, right? All of those conversations that we cannot shy away from um, with our children and thinking that they're not going to have an interest in it because they will, right? They're human beings. So making sure that we are covering these, all of these topics with our children in a manner that is on their level that they can understand and answering the questions to the best of our ability and being honest if we don't know the answer and say hey let me get that information and get back to you right so let's go out and have these um, conversations in an open healthy way with our children